yo, it is time for 2018 Tufts Archives Baseball. It is a five box break number 16 for eBay. Correct? Correct. All right, let's get to it. So how was everybody's weekend? Did everybody have a, uh, a good time? Anything you want to share with the classroom? Good, except for the Packers. What's going on with the Packers? I wish I had Aaron Rodgers on my team, man. I mean, he's on my fantasy team, but you know what I mean. On my for real team. He would look good in a Dolphin uniform. And I'm almost done with the pack opening session of his brain. Body. Here we go. I'm gonna try to keep uh, things separate here. Shamanea of the A's to 175. I want to keep the rookies away from everything else. <coughs> so many cards in this set. Uh,
much dust in his office. That's not really helping my uh, <coughs> current situation. Oh, Lord. Nice. Timmy Timmons Sandlot autograph. We didn't sell the Sandlot spot. Because uh, me and Jason want to keep it. So that autograph belongs to us. I don't think we sold the Sandlot spot. We haven't been selling the Sandlot spot for a little while. I don't know why. I think Jason wants to keep it. All to himself. Wally Backman Mets autograph. This is box number two. So here we go. Oh, Dan, I've been pulling fire already, bro. Let's see. What was the first break today? First break today was Rookie and Stars Football number one for eBay. Pulled a Saquon Barkley rookie patch auto out of that. And an Antonio Brown uh, autograph to 10, just to start things off. Uh, then in Certified Basketball, I pulled a Luka Doncic rookie patch autograph. And then in this last break, which was Triple Threads Baseball, I uh, I pulled a Ronald Acuna Jr. patch autograph. So, uh, Sorry, Aussie Slayer. No can do, man. My partner is keeping all, this, all of the Sadlock cards, dude. So I, I apologize, but I gotta say no. And I just started this archives break, so probably pull something stupid nice out of this. So I'm, you know, I'm on, I'm on fire already, already on fire. Oh, you mean? Oh, sorry, Ozzy Slayer, I misread that. <coughs> yeah, I misread that. If I'm not mistaken, <coughs> I think the veteran base cards are not shipping on this. But I'm still not. I'm uh, Ozzy Slayer. How about this, bro? How about you send me an email and we'll talk. <coughs> uh, Dan, what are you talking about? Because I was live yesterday. I was live for like an hour, Dan. What, what are you talking about? <coughs> uh, 
LD Slayer, send me an email to ripcitycards at gmail.com. <coughs> I'll put it in the in the chat there. Send me an email, LZ, and we'll talk. Uh, first of all. Uh, Saturday, yeah, Saturday was Cardboard Jesus's, uh, Cardboard Jesus Day. Jason came on last night after I left? No, he didn't. No, well, whatever. Anyways, let's keep it going here. Let's see what we got in the second box. <coughs> Bro, it's like as soon as I step in this office, I just start coughing. Which is not helping my situation at all. <coughs> Booyah fishing, trust me, I'm, I would never do such a thing. It's not like I'm coughing on the cards. Um, trust me, I'm pointing my face elsewhere. I was raised properly. Robert Clemente to 99 Pirates. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Nobody went live yesterday. Now that I'm thinking about it, yesterday I was in this office until like 3 in the morning. I wasn't live, but I was sorting breaks, trying to catch us up with shipping. Justin smoked to 175 Blue Jays, and I was the only one here. So I don't, it wasn't definitely not yesterday. Dan, trust me, you do not want to hit this, bro. I don't wish this on anybody. Yeah, Saturday night, gotcha. Uh, for the Angels, Gary Pettis, the autograph, to 150. I would never do such a thing to you, booyah. Never. I, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemies. I hate being sick. It's not cool. I, I, dude, I, it was a lot worse yesterday, I'll tell you that much. And the day before that, oh my god. Try to watch a, try to watch a break that I did yesterday. Yesterday I couldn't, I could barely talk, man. So wait, so what? So what happened Saturday, man? What happened on Saturday? You know, it's, that's usually, I, I usually have Saturday and Friday off. I was, you know, I was watching the Hurricane game. Trying to take my mind off of this fever slash bronchitis situation I got going on. So what happened Saturday? How come nobody said anything yesterday? Well, then again, yesterday I was on for like maybe an hour. I did the eBay breaks and I and I shut it down. Jose Mesa of the Indians. Yesterday was pretty bad though. Do you remember the person's name, Dan? It, it might have been a buddy of his or something. <coughs> Which still is no excuse, but you know. Damn kids play for life. Whatever you got is that good stuff, bro.
Oh, okay, got you, Marcello. Do kids play whatever that is? You need to uh, send it my way. Oh, oh, Chris Fitz. So, oh, Chris Fitz, were you here? Do you remember what was going on? You know what? That's the difficult part. Well, there's a lot of difficult parts to doing this uh, gig. But that is one of them. It's trying to figure out, you know, a balance between entertaining and, you know, getting things done. So, some dude named Danny Bellows. Huh. Interesting. I would love I would love for that guy to come and try that with me. Cause everybody knows Uncle Jesse don't play that. I have a low tolerance for stuff like that. Trying to sell that pyramid scheme, what, Herbalife or something? Do you remember the other name, Cello? Yeah, oh, dude, Jason is extremely nice. Like, he's almost too nice to, like, a fault. Uh, I'm also very nice. Ra Ra, you know this. I'm also extremely nice. However, there is a limit. To that niceness and I, and I have a pretty uh, high <coughs> a BS detector so if I sense any BS I put a stop to it right in there whereas Jason Jason will more so entertain it and you know have fun with it <laughs> Yeah, you, you you gotta love CBJ Raw Raw. You gotta love the guy. He's just he's just a sweetheart, man. Just a big old teddy bear. Whereas I, I am more of a grizzly bear, or like a silverback gorilla, or something like that. All right, I'm gonna blow my nose for like the millionth time here, man. I love hand sanitizer. Luckily for me, I'm not dealing with any acetates. All right. You know, somebody told me not to use hand sanitizer. I think I was doing like an immaculate break when I first started. And he's like, oh, dude, don't don't use uh, don't use hand sanitizer. I I figured it was because uh, you know, not to smudge the autograph or anything. Don't really have to worry about that in this product. Oh, dude, I, I would trust CBJ with anything, really. That, that The man is an angel. Max Scherzer, Nationals, 275. I, I am trying, Booyah. I am trying. Trust me. I'm putting, I'm putting my maximum effort into this.
Brooks Robinson of the Orioles, 299. And the glare doesn't look too bad on this. It looks pretty great, actually. Luis Castillo, a Marlins. All time great. This is a sweet card for me. Helped us win uh, a championship back in 97. Our first ever championship. Good times. Good times. I think he was also part of the 2003 team. No, that was Conine. I think he. No, he wasn't there for all three. Nice. An Aaron Judge. Yankee autograph. One of one. Now that is what I'm talking about. Your boy is on fire. Literally pulled a hot card out of every break I've done today. One of one mojo. That is stupid nice. Stupid nice. Time to take a picture. That's right. I am putting a stop to everything just to take a picture. Because the world needs to know that I pull nothing but hot fire. I do, not for nothing, I've been on fire today, for reals, man, ridiculous hit, one of one, Aaron Judge for the Yankees, I mean, not bad, right, not bad, alright, let's keep it going, booyah, you told me to hit a big one, I mean, that's, that's pretty big if you ask me. I'm going to blow the internet up with that in a second. What's up, freak? Dan, if you actually did that, I would fly out to you and I would kiss you. Boogers and all. And you will like it. What are you talking about, Dan? It's all good. It's all good. I'm just getting started, man. I am just getting started. Let's get those. Let's get the store breaks going, you guys. Today's the last day. You get 10% back on your purchases. So head over to RipCityCards.com, pick up your teams, and let's get some stuff filled up, baby. I wonder if it's a good idea to drink orange juice. Even though I got a, a, a mild bronchitis situation going on yeah dan i saw the pictures you posted in the facebook group if that's what you're saying i did i did see that
Ask and you shall receive, Booyah. I, a little bit, Freak, a little bit. Definitely a lot better than what I did yesterday. Da I mean, Dan, it's, what can I say? You know, they call me Cardboard Moses for a reason. They call me Cardboard Moses for a reason. Jeter would be nice. Brandon Belt of the Giants to 25. A Jeter or an Ichiro. Ooh, that would be awesome. But yeah, yesterday I couldn't even talk, man. At least today I could talk. It still hurts a little bit. And if you listen closely, you, you know, you can tell that I'm not at 100%. But definitely way better than I was yesterday, that's for sure. So thank you guys for, for asking. I appreciate that, Dan, you know. Uh, flattery will get you everywhere in life, so thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I try, man, I try. I will say, you ain't seen nothing yet. I feel today's gonna be one of those nights. Might go on a little breaking bender. We'll see. As long as we, we'll, as long as we are filling breaks, guys, I, I will hang around. But if things slow down, well, you know what that means. Tom Browning of the Reds autograph pretty sweet you know, Dan I don't think I ever asked you uh, but how'd you hear about us did you start with eBay breaks and then just fell fell in love with me and you know and decided to do store breaks as well as eBay or uh, maybe you heard of us through the grapevine I, I don't know what the heck is this Jim Bouton, however you pronounce that. Pitcher for the Yankees back in the day. That's a really cool looking card. That's nice. That's what I need, Dan. That's what I need. If I can get some of the big, you know, some of the big money ballers up in here, then we'd be breaking all night long. Man, I can't even sing right now. I can't sing, period. So. I like to pretend that I do. Like when I'm in my car and I listen to music really loudly, I like to think I can sing. But that's just, you know, the actual singer drowning me out. Joey Votto with the old school Tops logo on there. That's a short print. And your boy caught it. There you go. Nice hit right there for the red. So searching on the tube, really. That's that is very rare. Do I hear that? You know, mostly when I ask people how they hear how they hear about us, it's you know sometimes word of mouth or you know eBay. But very rarely do I have people tell me you know oh I, you know just going through YouTube. Interesting, Dan. So I need to maybe I should I need to I need to I need to. A lot of thoughts just went through my mind just now. That's why I kind of short circuited. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Gotcha, Dan. Gotcha. 
Well, I, I appreciate you breaking with us as well, my man. I really do. Because you can break with anybody, uh, anybody, and you choose to break with me as well. So I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. And everybody else out there watching, too. I appreciate y'all. Let's see what we get in this last box here. Yeah, I'm more so right on schedule. I said that the playoff breaks were going to start at 8 o'clock. Yeah, Dan, I, I mean, I know most of them, honestly. I know, I know a lot of them, actually. Me and Jason, though, we have... Uh, we're, we're, we're cooking a little something. We're cooking up a little something. Unfortunately, just right now, we don't have the time to uh, actually go through with it. But me and him have been talking about some really cool stuff. If uh, we, we would like to, you know, because we stream every single day. We're live every single day. I think we're the only breakers that do that. Well, there's a couple others that stream every single day as well. But if we could have like one night off where we don't stream, there's a lot of cool things that me and Jason uh, have been cooking up that we want to put into effect. I, I, I agree with you, Dan. You know, I, I feel like, like I'll be honest, man, like I don't collect cards. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't buy them. I don't sell them, you know, nothing like that. Uh, of course, I love sports. You know, I'm a big uh, sports fan. So I got that going for me. But as far as, like, the cards, I don't collect them. I don't sell them. I don't buy them. Nothing like that. So I don't really have the knowledge that some of you guys have. You know, some of you guys have been collecting cards your entire lives. I've been in this. I've been breaking. This was my second year now as a breaker. Uh, and before that, I started off as a sorter. You know, I would sort the cards and I would package them up and, you know, and ship them out to you guys. And then the opportunity arose for me to be a breaker. So I just, I took the opportunity. Um, you know, and at first, it, 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 and it's still, it's still very hard. It's still very hard. Every day's a grind. Um, every day is a freaking grind. But it's, I, I love it, man. I love it. Every day's a challenge, and I, I look forward to it. Um, and as my knowledge grows with, with products and, and also with the sports, because in this room, for example, baseball does really well on our website. And baseball is probably, like, my weakest sport aside from hockey. So the knowledge isn't really there, so I can't really talk with you guys and, you know, shoot the shit or whatever. Uh, but I'm working on that. As far as football and basketball is concerned, I got that on lock. And every now and then we'll do cool little things. Like we'll do like Star Wars products. Sometimes we'll do like wrestling stuff. I'm also a nerd, so I'm super into that, uh, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, man, you know, the, the every day is every day is, is a new thing for me. And, and I, look, I look forward to it, man. I, I really do. It's, it's a fun job. It's a fun gig. I love it. Um... And, and I, not for nothing, you know, when I tell my friends what I do, you know, at first they would laugh at me. Now it's like, damn, bro, I kind of I wish I had what, you know, what you got going on. You know, I'm not really my own boss, but I kind of am. So, I got that going for me. Noah Syndergaard of the Mets to 175. Basically, whatever I put in, and that's what I get out, so... I try to give 100% every night. And yeah, man. Hopefully I can turn this thing into a into a into a lifelong situation. Luke Weaver of the Cardinals today night. Cuz yeah, man, like I like I tell my friends what I do and they laugh at me. So, I, I like to think that a good portion of people, especially in my age group and younger than me, aren't really aware of this uh, hobby. But one, you know, I, I think it's, I think it's going to blow up soon, which could, I don't know what that's going to mean for the hobby, but I, I feel like it's going to, it's like in a, in a bubble right now, and I feel like that bubble's going to burst, and people are just going to start 
you know, buying more and more and more and more and more, which, you know, could be a good or bad thing. But, you know, we'll see. Adam Kennedy, Angels autograph. Not numbered. I pity the fool that don't break with Cardboard Moses. Yeah, once people my age and younger than you know the younger generation starts to realize like oh shit there's money in this that's when this thing is gonna is gonna like go through uh, another golden age so to speak because I, I I talk to people that have been collecting for years since they were kids you know and, and they're a lot older than me you know no disrespect but it is what it is, and, you know, they were telling me how, you know, cards being autographed wasn't a thing until, like, the early 2000s, late 90s, which, to me, is mind-boggling. You know, you would think that they would have been autographing cards since, you know, since they invented the printing press or something. So it's, it's always nice to, to learn about the hobby. Every day is something new. Felix Milan, Mets autograph to 150. Yep, believe it or not, some people do rah rah. Believe it or not. And that's going to do it for the break, my friends. All right, so let's recap this thing. So, all these Sandlot cards, uh, we're actually going to random. Our sorters are going to randomly give these away. So uh, look forward to that. We, we did state in the description that that was the situation. So all of these Sandlot cards will be randomed. Uh, our sorters will just give them away randomly. We did pull an autograph for the Sandlot spot. Tommy, uh, Timmy Timmons, I'm sorry. We did not sell a Sandlot spot. And we're not randoming any autographs. I guess Jason wants to keep them for himself. So, congratulations, uh, Cardboard Jesus. There you go. Uh, however, let's recap everything else. So, we got a short print here for Joey Votto, the Reds. Got the old school Tops logo there at the bottom right. We got Luke Weaver, Cardinals to 99. Syndergaard of the Mets, 175. Brandon Belt, Giants to 25. Brooks Robinson, Orioles to 99. Uh, Max Scherzer, Nationals to 175. Uh, Justin Smoke Blue Jays to 175. Roberto Clemente of the Pirates to 99. Sean Manea of the A's to 175. Autographs. We got Felix Milano of the Mets to 150. Adam Kennedy Angels. Jim Bouton Yankees. Tom Browning Reds. Luis Castillo Marlins. Jose Mesa, Indians. Gary Pettis, Angels to 150. Wally Backman of the Mets. And, and Aaron Judge. One of one. Ridiculous. And that's it for the break. Thank you, eBay. We'll get it out to you.